Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Bubba Triclops Ballistics. Good to see you guys again. I'm Bubba the Third Eye Blind Triclops. Now, uh, yeah, my mustache is getting kind of wild. I don't know. Should I trim it? I don't know. I'll let it go a little bit longer. Who knows? At least it don't look like a creepy stash. Yeah, we're good for right now. Uh, but guys, I got another tabletop review for you guys today. I, unfortunately, like every single time when it's a good weekend, apparently it just likes to pick up the wind out here in Kentucky. So uh, I, I don't know. The windy city needs to take its wind back. You know, I'm, I'm tired of it. All right. I'm, I'm beyond tired of it. Uh, but yeah, guys, uh, so uh, <laughs> doing this review here, uh, boom, I... I Boomstick, I can already tell right now you're like, well, finally, geez, geez, finally, Bubba, finally. I, okay, I, okay. While while that is well warranted, I did do it. Just saying that now. Go back. But yeah, guys, uh, I finally decided to uh, buy my competition rifle. Well, my starting competition rifle. I'm probably going to move out from this to something else, but eh. Uh, Bubba likes to test out cheap things, and what better opportunity than to test it out for a competition rifle? Uh, now, this uh, this rifle is something I've been thinking hard and long on, giggity. And uh, keep your mind out of the gutter. I'm telling that to myself, not not just you guys. Uh, but uh, I had to decide because there was there was another rifle I was going to get. But I decided against it just because uh, I've been uh, helping pay off my grandparents' house. So I wanted to get something cheap, but still be able to have a competition rifle. And that's why, Boomstick, I've been blowing your FOMA up like crazy about this stuff. So, uh, But it came in today. It was back order, so it's been here like Friday. But FedEx being FedEx. <coughs> Sorry, I didn't, I didn't mention any postal service whatsoever at all. At least it was a DHL. I'd have never got it. Uh, but without further ado, what we have here for my competition rifle is I have bought the little brother of the one that Al just had on his show, Ruger American. That's old cheek weld here. Bolt action, 10 round, bull barrel threaded barrel 18 inches overall or yeah 18 inch barrel bolt action with rotary magazines so nice little nice little touch there so this is what i ended up getting guys now this thing is is very very nice it's got a 1 to 16 twist like most 22s will have uh it's got a bag safety as well as the trigger guard on the safety here i haven't really tested the trigger yet but i don't really have any snap caps uh so i can't really test the trigger but the trigger is actually adjustable down to three pounds uh, i did test it while i was in the gun shop uh, when I was in my buddy Bill's pawn shop to test it out, because that's who I send my FFL stuff to. And, uh, it felt kind of like, I don't know, maybe a maybe four pound pull. So not not too bad, considering the fact this thing can go down to three. Uh, not too bad at all. I'm not going to show me putting the bolt in on camera, because apparently YouTube has a issue with that. So uh, let me do this off camera real quick. And uh, there we go. Bolts in it. Really nice. It's got a nice lock up here. Very smooth, actually. Compared to my Savage, probably the more smooth of the two. Safety's nice and crisp on it. It does have a 20 MOA rail on it, so that's cool. So I don't got to fiddle with that. Um, Rails nice and tight. It's got a nice stock on it. I, I do actually like this stock. I do like the OD green look to it. It does have a nice little, you know, 
those of us with uh, that little extra fat on our thumbs. It's a nice little rest right here. It actually feels really comfortable to hold. Really comfortable to holster. It's actually really, really nice. It's a lot nicer than I thought it would be. Um, I could definitely see me shooting this quite a bit. And like I said, that bolt is very, very nice. Um, like I said, 18 inch barrel, 18 inch bull barrel, which I thought was very nice, especially for the price of this thing. It was, uh, uh, in the four bill mark, close to being under the four bill mark. And, uh, I'm not going to tell you the exact price because YouTube, once again, likes its little bitty, uh, draconian rules. But it's very, very nice. Like I said, 116 twist. Feels good in the hands. Kind of kind of hefty, probably about 9 pounds-ish, something like that. About 9, maybe 10 pounds. Not too bad. But very nice, very sleek. It looks absolutely tiny when I'm holding it, but that is an 18-inch barrel. And uh, it looks like it's going to be a tack driver. Um, hopefully I'll get a decent scope on it. Now, here's the, here's the thing with the scope situation. Uh, by the way, it's a hammer forged barrel, by the way. Uh, the scope situation is I'm trying to decide whether or not to get a Monstrum and put it on here or get the Arkin scope that I wanted to put on here. I think uh, I might go with the Monstrum that uh, Tim Miller over at ScrewTube Outcasts uh, has been doing. And, but I'm not 100% sure on that. You guys help me decide on that, whether or not to try the Monstrum. I'm thinking this is gonna have to have half inch, half inch rise, maybe three quarter inch rise for the uh, scope rings on this because the barrel is pretty close to the end of that. So probably three quarter inch rise for the scope rings. I'm not hundred percent sure. Uh, it may just be a half inch, but I kind of want to play it safe and get three quarter inch. So again, up to you guys. What do you think I should do? Um, Okay, yeah, definitely, definitely three and a half, four pound trigger pull. It's probably bad for the rifle, but whatever. The one ain't going to hurt it. Uh, very nice. I actually like the uh, mag release on it. Pops out pretty good. And I do like the fact that this gun can actually take the BX-25 magazine, so the 25 rounders for the Ruger 10-22s will actually work on this rifle. Uh, I thought that was pretty cool. Ruger's pretty good about interchangeability as far as their magazines is concerned for any of their 22 models, so I think that's pretty cool. Now, this one is going to be the Predator Edition model, and uh, it does have this little extra aesthetic here in the back. Um... It's actually really nice. It's a lot nicer than I thought it would be. Uh, feels good. It's, got a, it's a pretty good cheek weld, actually. It feels pretty nice. Might put a little extra padding on there. I'm not 100% sure, but it feels good as it is right now. Like I said, that safety is nice and crisp. That bolt is just, that bolt is ridiculously crisp. Oh my goodness. So, that's it, guys. Ruger American Predator Edition model. Got the nice little logo on the bottom. That's cool. And, uh, you know, got an OD green. And like I said, for the price point, it having a bull barrel and a threaded barrel, that is pretty ridiculous. I'm going to have to say that. An 18 inch and a threaded barrel for the price of this thing is chef's kiss. Very, very nice. So. I absolutely love it so far. Hopefully we're going to get a couple days where it isn't so windy and I can actually try this out. Uh, so yeah, guys. 
once again, I, I can't stop talking about it. it actually, it's really, really pretty. Uh, I actually think my camera's not doing it justice right now. But that big old bull barrel, man, look at that. That is sexy. It gives it a whole new feel, to be honest. Little sling swivels here. Probably going to put a bipod, a sling swivel bipod on it. Probably going to put a one-point swivel on here, or one-point swivel for the uh, uh, sling. Not 100% sure. Man, I can't get over that bolt. Um, so, yeah, guys, this is probably going to be my starting competition rifle. Probably going to move on up. Now, the next gun I probably will get, if I, if I end up liking competitions, which I'm not 100% sure I will. Uh, I'm usually not somebody that, like, I'm usually not somebody that really cares about really placing in, like, a competition or anything like that. I'm really not, uh, so I might end up not liking it. But if I do end up liking it, I do end up having fun with it. Especially if I win, I'm probably going to upgrade to a Tika T1X. Uh, I'm not going to get a Bagheera because a Bagheera does not handle the ammo that I like to shoot uh, very well. It doesn't like the uh, cheaper ammos, quote-unquote cheaper ammos. And... Uh, I don't think it's worth spending the price point for a Bagheera for only being able to shoot like one type of ammo, like one set of ammo. That's kind of silly to me. But then again, uh, I don't make that much money. <laughs> but yeah, uh, uh, won't ever do a Christensen Arms. I don't like Christensen Arms. I think they are overrated. And... Uh, Kind of like how I think about Glocks. Uh, they're overrated and don't deserve half the hype that they get. Um, but yeah, guys. Probably going to do a glamour shot. Try to do my first glamour shot of a gun. Let's try that out here soon. Uh, in closing, guys, as always, stay safe. Stay armed. Stay 2A strong. Have a fantastic day. Keep getting at it. I'll see you in the next one, hopefully a range video. Take care.